So, Allie. Yeah. The episode we're about to listen to, what do you remember of the recording process? Not a lot of it. Why is that? I can't remember. <laughs> Does it have to, anything to do with those cans right there? Probably. Probably. So, you remember no conversations whatsoever? Well, as you guys have told me stories, um, I little bits and pieces. Little bits and pieces? <laughs> At least the topics. All right. So nothing's ringing a bell about any of this. No. So you recorded it with us, and you're going to hear it for the first time along with our listeners. Yes. All right. After this, after you listen, we're going to get your uh, reaction okay. to how you behaved in this interview. Are okay. you ready? Sure. Okay. Are you ready? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Mean. Fuck you. Crazy. I have this in my notebook. Fuck you. This is not the kind of professionalism we're looking for in this podcast overall. Overall. Fuck you. Look, it's worse. Got it. All right, so read back to me what you have on your picture. (laughs) Meme. Fuck off. Creativity. I'm awesome. Fuck you. Delivery. (laughs) You just wait. Fuck you. Overall. It'll be fine. She might have Asperger's. (laughs) She has something wrong with her where every word has to be fuck you and then like she's always combative yeah it's she just in my notebook somewhere have fun. that's why they have you in the corner stole. apparently we did put baby yeah, in the corner <laughs> patrick swayze is not here to save you thank you had cancer got him you know the funny thing is she has her desk but where she's sitting sitting beside <laughs> her desk she's like like a little kid who got trying to be so defiant <laughs> I have, you know? Yes, yes. Wait, you told me to sit on my desk. I have to sit on the other side. Yeah. Little do we know you guys set me up here. Mm-hmm. You, you're a grown ass woman. You will have freedom to move your desk wherever you please. <laughs> Not in the middle of recording. Yeah, what are you doing? What are you doing? <laughs> you're going to knock stuff over. What oh, my doing? God, dear listeners. Do you have a microphone? She does not have a microphone now. She looks lost. <laughs> like, the is like, well, I've never seen it. <laughs> yeah, you guys can. We have, we have, um, headphones coming. Wait, with a microphone. Yeah, she might get the, uh, yeah, the baby ones. That, what? To where she can just walk around with a little toddler. Yeah. It's, it's going to be, it's going to be what we give the guests to use so they're not anchored to one spot. They can relax on the couch and. Well, then they just get to move and I don't. Because we like them, unlike you. Uh, and that's what we're to our listeners. And we're still kind of watching your performance, so. No, I passed my quiz. No, you did not. <laughs> and then Burp just, was that right in your face? It was. It was the disgusting the thing that we were saying. Yes. <laughs> you are not allowed to drink before we record. She's had one and a half Trulies and is off her rocket. I had like five. You know, you had one and a half, I kind of... Two of them are here. The Those third are one's over there. Those are mine. Two I'm going to down because I'm a professional. Mm-hmm. Take your sunglasses off. Sunglasses stay on. You wouldn't be professional if you didn't have the sunglasses. Exactly. You also wouldn't be able to talk if you had them off. There's coming from somebody who has no microphone. Exactly. <laughs> She's over there talking shit. Man, she is so unprepared. We might as well just show her your phone, bro. We might as well. Oh, here she comes. Oh, gosh. She's going to knock shit over again. Look. Oh, there goes the baby pictures. Good job. Oh. Good job. Right. I can't bring those memories back. Go back to the corner. Oh, there goes the picture of the dead dog. That's never coming back. Now we're at the corner. I'm here every night. You're on the corner every night. Every night. <laughs> Old Furberg is on the corner, huh? <laughs> Old Furberg. All green and hairy and nasty. Oh God. White things just growing out of it. Pustules. <laughs> <laughs> Why am I not screaming <laughs> at you? <laughs> Like the crabs down there are really like bigger than like those big ass coconut crabs. Yeah. That you see on the beach are the biggest like trash cans and shit. Yeah, yeah crotch burger. Exactly. <laughs> what yeah. beach are you at? Eerie. Oh god. <laughs> Eerie. Let me go to Cleveland. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, but, like, hey man, let's go to Cleveland. Let's go to Sandusky. Let's go to Port Clinton. Why? 
So you can go to your freshwater beach that is like four degrees. I do like the Hall of Fame up there. That's what the only good thing in Ohio. Yeah. Never been. Oh, any silver pool, Ohio. Oh, oh my God. The best shop in the world. Don't let anyone. Okay. Oh, that is not my dream. So we have, we have a legal situation. Ass. Well, I don't know. Why do you get a hot dog shop with this okay, dude I, I every time why. he orders? I, I know why. Don't don't answer. I'm going to tell you why. Does he tell you when he tells you his order, does he say, I need chili and cheddar cheese? Okay, I, I, I know what's going on. All right, so <laughs> if we were to go somewhere and where we went, the people there said this on. is a really great hot dog. you got to try this out. It's the best. Everyone loves it. It's, you know, so you try the hot dog. And it's okay. It's not the worst hot dog. And you say, and you say, that I have a hot dog shop in my house where I, I, I you mean you never like, no, stop, 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 I'm not. And, it's not about the food. No, no, you're right. It's not we'll, about We'll get to that in a minute. Let the man finish. Okay. So, no, you're right. It's not about the food. And he, you know, he, he just had a, a good standard in, in his mind where, where a good hot dog tastes like because, you know, he's always had his awesome hot dogs. So he's not, you know, I mean, his mom makes a better hot dog than this shop he's talking about. <laughs> no, I'm not very good. Shout out to Ethel. Ethel. I order when we call it. Right? I remember It this. is not like the one you order from. This thing, this thing. Takes your hot dogs right down your throat. No, this thing fucking takes your food, okay? You order it a window. And then it fucking goes up. Through a fucking tube in the air. I like in that. the no 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 no. I like because that. it tastes like air by the time you get it. It goes through the fucking air. You know, it's like when you're depositing your check and you're your, your, your oh, bank teller. Your bank teller. It goes through the fucking <laughs> air. Through a what's it called? You're on your own. That's what. Which one? A dumbbell. A dumbbell. A dumbbell. Sure. Yeah, a dumbbell. So they shove all your food in there. They yeah. shove it all in this fucking sink through a tube. Okay, what about and you're what? watching all your fucking drink comes too. And you're watching all the tube. Dude, fucking listen. And you fucking watch it just fucking fly above you. And this fucking <laughs> And then it comes down. Like I requested a hundred dollar bill. And you're so excited. And then you fucking eat it and it's nothing like the one in your fucking town. And then he fights you for a year and a fucking half.
two hot dogs, cheddar right. chili, large fried cheddar chili. How would you order two hot dogs? I, I would do the exact same way. No, 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 no. Say, say it out loud. Because say it, say it. How would you order two no, hot dogs? Because I'm, when we're ordering How would you order two hot dogs right now? He's telling me exactly what no, no. he wants, and I'm going to turn around and say exactly so, what he wants. How would you order two hot dogs downtown at our store? But that's that's not the point. Of yes, it is. I'm not, that's the question I'm asking. You would say ch chili and cheese, however. Thank you. Mike, how would you order yours at well, your store? Cheddar, which I order my cheddar chili. He, okay, so the point well, is, on the menu, it the does point chili is cheddar, he wants to knows. say that it's different, yet everything's the same. Yes, everything has the same verbiage, but, his but, the ingredient, but the ingredients are different. How they make their cheddar sauce and how they make their chili sauce. Okay, Two well, so the only way we're going to uh, figure this out, and we will definitely come back to it, is Brian has to go with you to yours and taste it, because we've all had our hot dog shop, and he has not had your hot dog shop. i tell you what, there's a place in Elwood City, and it's called Red Hots, and the few people that I see posting things about it, <laughs> they, they, they say it's amazing and it's way better than the hot dog shop, in their opinion. I wouldn't try this place out. What the trash? Yeah. Unless you pay. Okay, it sounds like a money laundering scheme oh, uh, going on. While we're on this subject, Whoa, Brad, let me let you know yes, he does yeah. not like Hanks. We make better tacos here at the house. We make amazing tacos at the house. Well, we do, as in the last month. However, well, what they make is disgusting. It, it comes out like the cheese it has all congealed. It is nasty. It's cold. By the time I got it, we ordered. We finally got our food after a long ass wait when there were like five people in line. They acted like there were 50 actually, people there. You waited in line with us? Yes. Well, the first time we got it. There was not, you in the car? There was not a big line. I was there because I ordered because I didn't know what the hell to order. You were then, we, then we get home. Mind you, this is like a five-minute drive from down the street to the house. The cheese was already cold and congealed. The meat was, the, it was just runny. It had no like taco flavoring whatsoever. You want to know something? You want to know something? No matter what, if you get it and you run, you know, you fly home, you get home and open it, it's always cold. Actually, I take that back. We ate at the picnic tables out there. That's how it came out. And the picnic tables are a 30 second walk. No, 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 no. It's a 10 second walk from the window to the picnic table. Oh. I don't think I've ever ate a hot Hank's taco. And like the, the <laughs> you know, I got a burrito and the, the wrap was wet and cold. Yeah. Yeah. You threw with aluminum foil. Yeah, that would keep the heat. Yeah, it's just not. Yeah, no, it was disgusting. Even like Taco Bell burritos were better. Yeah, that's saying something. I yeah, their meat is not really meat. Yeah, yeah, mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. Brian loves the two. Be a sponsor. You need money. I used to work there my whole life. The, how does that get us a sponsorship? Uh, oh, hold on a sec. You you had an interesting story about when you worked there. Awesome. What happened when you were as a sandwich artist? Sandwich artist? Yes, that's maybe between the two of us we will get that word out. We got half a brain between the two of us. So you were working one day with missing fingers. <laughs> nine oh, fingers. Fingers. Oh, fingers! Nine fingers of fury. You don't speak about her too often. <laughs> no. Uh, let me ask you, where did you meet? He really, really misses her. Where did we know? Where did you meet this? this lady? I met her at work. Where, where were you working? I worked for a retail. Okay. And how long was it that you that took you to notice that she was missing some fingers? <laughs> almost. And it was actually almost immediately. My uh, buddy, he was working. He was like one of the uh, supervisors for the uh, for the register bank. So she was a cashier. He comes running up. He's like, dude. Dude, you're not gonna believe this about this new cashier. And I just go, dude, did you fuck her already? It's like, nah, dude, no, no, no. She has nine fingers. I'm like, what? It's like, yeah, nine fingers. And that didn't deter you. You yeah. said, I have to give me some of this. I was like, who the fuck is she? Because I have not seen any of the new hives. Uh, but eventually so I go up there. I want to know who she was so I don't look at her hand and go, Oh, you got nine fingers. And they started talking stupid shit, making fun of her, because right, it's not cool. At work. How long did you guys date? We dated for three years. Yeah, three years. Does she still have her missing fingers? 
Yeah. Keaton, she wore my necklace. Yeah. <laughs> that would be bad. I don't know if you know she was born that way. She made, she had on her one hand it was just four fingers, and on the other one she had like a tiny thumb. But <laughs> she's like my strong hand, my strong hand, my like, strong hand. Are you being serious about the other hand? No. <laughs> yeah, I mean, the other hand, like her her one finger wasn't surgically altered, so it would kind of like. You know, you're good sitting there. Oh, okay. You didn't ask any questions. What did I tell you before I was doped up to make sure it was happening? That he had all of his fingers and toes, and I would have lied to you. I would have found a way that you would never have noticed a missing finger or toe. By the way, we're keeping her in the Found the way. You know, uh, so I mean, we'll, we'll, we'll call her Maya for missing in action. <laughs> I was gonna say oh, nine figures of fury. I like that. I like that. Nine figures of fury. A story. How all that thing came about? Yes. It was the all class reunion for uh, East Liverpool. So when everyone comes back to town to celebrate. Wait a minute. The town gets shut down. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. What year was this? <laughs> Fuck, I can't remember. But anyway, so it was the all class. Because when mom tells you if you pick your nose all the time, your fingers will fall off. This is a good example. Yes. So here, here's the thing. Like, so anyway, we're this is all class reunion. Every graduating class comes back. It's a big party. Everyone gets drunk. So we go to the hot dog shop. Yes. Me and a bunch of friends from school. And I'm drunk. And I was being obnoxious, but not in a bad way. Just being a goofy, fun, obnoxious. All of a sudden, I made a joke about her fingers, and she got. Not mad, but just kind of upset. My buddy goes, better look out. But I get nine fingers of fury across the face. <laughs> so that's what I, I joked about her fingers to her. Uh, because she, joked, sure. she joked about them all the time. I'm sure that she, you know, she was probably really sensitive about that. Actually, no, she, she <laughs> really wasn't. She saved money on uh, nail polish. Yes. You know, <laughs> and you know what, you know what she graduated college at? What's that? A surgical technician. Oh, wow. Yeah, so she's in there like, Manipulating all these instruments to hand to the doctors to come back correctly. Was it really awkward to eat lady fingers around? I never get it ever across my mind. That is great. Say it again. Say it again. My dad, when he first went there, goes, My dad goes, So. When you count, you count the base 10 or base 9. That definitely sounds like your dad's joke. Did she laugh? Oh, she thought it was funny as hell. Okay. So she was okay with her condition? Yeah, she was okay with her condition. What about her? What about when she would, you know, tug on the weed? How did that go? I imagine it was like a guard break. It, it was just like, you had that little thumb? Well, she'd be able to pop up and just go across. Go across. You had a lift. You had a lift. You had a four finger hand job. <laughs> <laughs> and, and I've seen this town. I have a family. If you go to a local strip club, you might find <laughs> one. I'm missing your fingers. That is true. <laughs> That's so gross. Where Where are you at? Oh, you're You're silent on the matter. Oh no, I'm just laughing at this story because I've heard it plenty of times. She just so loves. Love she just loves bringing up nine fingers of fury or Mia, as she's now called. Yeah, Mia. When I was yeah. Mia. Yeah. But I like the nine figures of fury. I mean, that's a thing too. Love it. The like Mia. <laughs> the nine figures of fury. Yeah. <laughs> her first name. You sound kind of cool. I am kind of cool. Yeah, you pulled that off. I did too. <laughs> All right, we got uh, let's do a couple of callers here. Um, Juan Quavy is from Wilkinsburg. <laughs> Go ahead, you're on the air. Two dummy injured. Oh yeah. Um, let's go. No. I guess I don't have a good connection over there in Uzbekistan. No. Marvin Kane did not rectify that situation at all. Oh, 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 there he goes, there he goes. Mr. Mr. Muhammad Abdullah. Yeah, guys, how you doing? Hey, hey Muhammad, how are hey, you? What's up? Yeah, I just have a question uh, for, for Mike. Yeah, did, um, did she give him one of those fingers to keep, like, you know, like as a promise ring? <laughs> she gave him one of those fingers to use as, like, a uh, butt plug. <laughs> So when she went down, you know, she didn't have to worry about her little finger making it all up there. It already up there, ready to go. 